We have a heartbreaking update for you to yesterday's fire at that reptile sanctuary in South Park. We have now learned that it's estimated closer to 70 animals died. Armstrong County Humane Officer Amber Phillips tells us she couldn't sleep last night because she's so upset over what she saw yesterday. This is video of the rush to save the red eared slider turtles after a fire broke out inside Nate's reptile rescue. 14 survived, but sadly, just as many turtles died from the flames and smoke. Armstrong County Humane Officer Amber Phillips rushed to South Park Monday after forming a friendship with the owner, Nate Lysacht. She told KDKA over the phone that Nate helped her immensely in her first days of housing Chomper, the famously rescued gator from the Kiski River, and he did make it out alive. Phillips said she focuses on saving dogs and cats, but after rescuing gators from a home in Kiski Township last year, Nate became a fast friend and invaluable resource. And now her heart breaks, knowing that he's likely blaming himself, feeling like he failed the animals. Neo, the gator that survived the winter in the Kiski River and recently took a bike ride to freedom, perished in Monday's fire. Phillips tells KDKA reptiles' lungs aren't the strongest, and she believes most of them died from smoke inhalation or direct contact with the fire. The fire marshal is still investigating, but this Post Gazette photo shows the setup involving the enclosures hoisted up on wooden braces. The enclosures are made of glass and metal. She believes the high heat likely killed all the tarantulas and other spiders, all the different lizards, iguanas, leading to a total of roughly 70 deaths. Each tank needed a heat lamp, and she said that involved a lot of surge strips. Phillips wants people to know Nate saved these reptiles from original owners who broke the law by bringing them to our area and then failed to properly take care of them. Quote, this falls back on society. It truly does. Society let these animals down, not Nate, and I hope he knows that. We also know Phillips, Nate, and first responders safely did get 11 gators out of there. We're told that they're now in a safe place. Phillips said that they were thrashing around, so that's a good sign that they were doing okay. Phillips said she's planning t-shirts and a fundraiser to help Nate rebuild. We're going to post those details over on KDKA tonight.